First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, National Night Out um, in East Chicago. We're trying to trying to make it bigger every year. Uh, first of all, thank you all. God bless you all for the support. Um, thank you very much. This is um, something that in the community should, we should just keep growing bigger and bigger. Um, with that, we're going to get started right away. We're going to open our um, our event here with a prayer from our aunt Ruth Barbosa. Yep. Hello to every one of you, and thank you again for coming out and being with us. I'm going to have just a few words before I prayer. I want you to keep this in mind. We've been going on repeating this now for a while, and this um, devotion that I'm going to read is never give up never give up you know and this is the purpose of these marches we're not giving up and this is what it says in a single day I have prayed as many as a hundred times and in the night almost as often St. Patrick said this and this is how you brush your teeth the school nurse said demonstrating that evening I tried to do exactly that but the brush felt awkward in my six year old hand with practice and time, I'm happy to say I became good with a toothbrush. Likewise, a person who practices praying will soon find prayer the natural action, reaction to life's trying situations. Do you need guidance making a decision? Pray. Are you confronted with sickness? Pray. Are your relationships strained and a child unruly? Pray. Are you having problems at your job? And aren't we a lot of us having problems with jobs? Pray. Are you concerned about conditions in your community or church? Pray. Pray about everything. Our tendency is to worry, but the Bible is empathetic. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and peti uh, petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That's in Philippians 4, 6. We are also told to pray continually. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. When Billy Graham was asked about his prayer life, he replied, I pray all the time. I pray while I'm walking, talking, laying down, whatever the situation. Prayer releases the hand of God. Prayer opens the windows of God's grace. Prayer brings God's perfect will to pass. And the bottom line is, today I refuse to worry. Rather, I commit each of my concerns and the problems of others to God in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you, we glorify you, and we thank you for this gathering that has come again this at this time, Lord, for one purpose. And you know, Lord, that we are just trusting in you. And as the, your word says, Lord, we are going to continue praying and we're not going to give up, Lord, because we know that everything is done in your will and in your time. I ask a special blessing for each family here represented, Lord, those that have lost loved ones because of all these situations that are happening in the communities. I ask, Lord, that you continue to bring peace into their hearts, into their lives, Lord, and bring the strength that they need and the comfort, because only from you we receive the true comfort, Lord. We ask, Lord, for the officials of this, of this uh, town and city. Lord, we ask for the policemen, Lord, and the policewomen. As they go out and do their job, Lord, I ask that you be with them, that they will place their hand themselves into your care and they will come home safely Lord because you will protect them we ask for the city officials we ask for the uh, politicians that are here Lord I don't know each one of them but you do Lord I ask that you help them ask for your guidance in whatever decisions they have to make we ask your continued presence in the midst of us Lord and that you will help us go through this march peacefully and especially with the peace of you in our hearts we ask all of this in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. god bless you thank you girls beautiful thank you uh,
can ride along. We're, we're trying to... Our, our Sisters Cry for Justice was created uh, on through love, through, through suffering. Um, Alex Martinez, my brother-in-law, was murdered. He was gunned down in Marktown 12 years ago. Um, and it seemed, you know, the the attention isn't really paid to what's going around you until it happens to you. When it happens to you, and it's at your front door knocking, and you have to you have to think everything at once. You know, you're 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 you're, you're hurt, you're confused, and especially if it's to a murder. You know, someone didn't die because they were sick or through attrition. You know, they didn't pass away um, through a murder. Senseless crimes and a lot of them are going unsolved that's the problem um, and we want our we want to heighten the awareness in the community speak up stop being silent don't close your blinds don't roll up the windows say something text the, we're trying to get text messaging in the police department here we, we brought it to the chief we've seen it work before in other cities why not here so um, with that we're bringing more um, Lake County officials and things of that nature Right now, I'm about to present to you uh, the trustee, Mr. Frank Mervin. Please give him a hand. Thank you very much, uh, Frank Mervin, North Township trustee. I was just praying that I wouldn't go first. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very serious issue. And on a couple of occasions, I've had to face this. First and foremost, as the North Township trustee, what we do is we take care of people who are in need on a daily basis. I represent Hammond, East Chicago, Highland, Munster, and Whiting. So if people need something paid for, they come to us. One of the things that we do on a daily basis is we pay for burials of the indigent. So if someone is to get unexpectedly shot or murdered, I'm the one who has to sign the papers to pay for those burials and I sit in front of families and talk to them. This is a meaningful day because we're trying to recognize and collectively say that no more will we accept this type of behavior. At the Township Trustee's Office, we have tried to put a small program together really just to highlight, to bring to everyone's attention that gang violence, street violence, and gun violence is an epidemic in our urban areas. The flood of Munster and Highland in 2008 is equivalent to the violence that we have in our urban areas. And so we have to have a collaborative effort, city, county, police, teachers, schools, school board, community, Crime Watch, uh, UBM, whoever can get involved to help change our community. The cycle will always be parents blame the teachers, teachers blame the parents, parents and teachers will blame the police. The police will say they don't have enough funding or enough people to blame the city elected officials because there's not enough in the budget. But the bottom line is, in order to make our safe, ourselves safe in our community, we have to start at home. We have to make sure that our home and the people that we care about know the difference between right and wrong and are making the decisions and have guidance. We've tried putting our money where our mouth is, where the township is. And this isn't a political speech. I ran, I have four years. I'm not trying to get elected here. I'm trying to emphasize that at the township trustee's office, we're trying to make baby steps to keep emphasizing that we no longer will accept this as normal in our communities. There's been studies show that there are three or four generations of people who are involved in gangs or grab a gun when there's violence. And the, the the showing of you coming out here today is just one step in saying we don't want to have it anymore. So on my small part, as a township trustee, we're trying to say no more just by putting light on what's going on. We have programs that are parents for teachers that helps people develop kids. They go to the parents' homes. We're doing things with Pastor Johnson, who is a, a minister here in East Chicago that's trying to try an entrepreneurial program to get kids who are at risk and that basically means kids who are 13 or 14 who have to make the choice between playing basketball or, or going to flash gang signs. So if you get to them at a young age and you try and make a difference, I realize, I realize I, I came from Hesville, I live in Highland, I'm an outsider. My office is here and I genuinely care about my, the people that I serve. 
and I do that by making efforts to be here. What you need to know is if there's any way a township trustee, our office, or an employee can help make your streets safer, we're gonna try and do that. I am uh, humbled by trying to be here. I can't imagine to have a lost one or a lost son. My deepest sympathies to you, but my greatest deep respect to you in trying to make a difference, hold an event like this, and make a difference in your community by just this small measure. And so the action plan from this day period, or from this day forward, should be to demand more safety in your community, demand more respect in your family, and demand more education and employment here in our area so we have a safer community. Uh, God bless you all. I'm honored to be here with your walk. I brought my family here so that you can realize that it is important to me and I don't live down the street from you, but I want you to enjoy safety. The basic bottom line of what you should expect is safety. So God bless you all. If there's any way the township trustee's office can assist in any aspect, come and talk to me. If I can't do it, I'll try and find a way. So I thank you all for inviting me and God bless you and keep up the good fight. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move right along here. Uh, the mayor had other engagement. He was going to be here, but um, in his place is going to speak is Mr. Damian Rico for the mayor's office. On behalf of Mayor George Bay, I'd like to welcome you and thank you all for coming. Um, I was talking this morning and we were talking about the Martinez family and how they, these people are an inspiration to this community because they turned a tragedy into an educational awareness in initiative. And I'm really proud of my multimedia crew who have been working with Nora and her family to promote um, this event and to educate the community about the devastation of loss, especially the gun violence. Uh, a few years back, I had a cousin who was 13 years old who was killed in Munster, Indiana uh, because of a gun accident. Um, I talked to his parents many times and they think, you know, you would never think in Munster, Indiana, you know, you're going to have gun violence or, or have a tragedy. But tragedy has no race, no age, and no gender. And the more we educate people on how, how violent guns can be, the better we are. And I thank the Martinez family and all of you for taking an initiative and the compassion of being here and to remembering your loved ones. Because like my cousin and like your family members, they'll never be forgotten. They're gone, but they'll never be forgotten. Thank you. I'm sorry, there's a, two people here that I like, three people here that I'd like to um, recognize uh, from the Chicago Police Department. We got Deputy Chief Cynthia Haynes, Commander Lance Kermis and Lieutenant Vega Torres and uh, Cynthia Haynes is going to speak on behalf of Chief Gus Flores. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Haynes. I'm the Deputy Chief of the Chicago Police Department and on behalf of the Mayor and the Chief who could not be here, he would like me to say, first of all, we thank you for coming out this evening. Uh, Sisters Cry for Justice was formed through Nora, and last year and this year they uh, held marches. And this organization uh, brings an attention to the crime in our area, also focuses on the gang organizations in our area. And we would like to say thank you to Nora and the Sisters Cry for Justice. Without these organizations, the police department could not function. We need the involvement of citizens, and that's why this chief, the last year, he has encouraged, we've uh, had town hall meetings, which have been hosted by the councilmen and councilwomen in those districts uh, to hear the, the different concerns that citizens have. We've also encouraged uh, communities to start uh, crime watch meetings, which some communities have formed crime watch meetings and block captains. 